I've always felt that it's something, an event that annually transcends everything else in our state. War! It's the right to, uh, to own the state. These games, win or lose, on both sides mean a lot to the celebrated figures in both schools' football history. If you win that game, you got 365 days to talk about that game. Right? Classic college football rivalry game, number 15, Oregon, on the road at Research Stadium in Corvallis to take on their longtime rivals, the Beavers. We all we got, 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 we all we got. Being an in state kid growing up so close to this rivalry, you know, you grow up watching this game, kind of dream about playing, dream about moments like Friday night. Yeah, being around this rivalry for a long time, you know, it was it means a ton not just to those players celebrating in the locker room. I mean, from the, the campus itself, our whole athletic department uh, in the state of Oregon, there's a bunch of beats. Okay, it's on, baby. He goes down the sideline. Jefferson, a theme ten by Jamar Jefferson. Touchdown, Beaver! And all the Ducks are like, wait, he came out of that pack? I mean, it set a big tone, you know. Um, after that first run, like I said, it set a big tone for our, our whole offense and defense and the sideline. Brought, brought the energy up. He picks his lane. He's, he's, he's got great vision. You know, across the board, guys are battling. Guys are fighting. <laughs> Duck gathers it in, and, ha and he's sacked by A.J. Hughes-Murray. You think about war, you know, you think about, about um, a lot of battles. It's a robbery game, so we knew it was going to be a dog fight. You know how many times you get hit in the mouth, but you know how many times you get back up. Throws on the end, and it's intercepted. I think he got that. Jaden Grant picked it off. We got back up every single time we got hit. Before, I mean, two teams competing at a very high level. Uh, you tell them the game meant something to both teams. Uh, I thought there was a deep focus from our end especially. I thought even at halftime, the transition in the third quarter, knowing this thing was going to go back and forth. You know, we didn't change too much defensively um, going into the second half. We just got to do do our jobs. Zone and it is caught. That's a touchdown for the Beavers. Zariah Beeson, the true freshman. The fourth quarter was, you know, um, we all just came together and we just kept fighting and kept swinging. The game plan was to run the ball and like just tear the defense down. So that's what we were doing all the time. That was the plan all the time, just to keep running and running and tearing them down. And I think you said it, Rod, just give the ball to number six. You make your name, you make your name, you become a legend in these types of games. And Jefferson is putting up numbers that will leave him in the, in the record books for this rival. Satterfield's a little backside pressure, throws, intercepted by Nishan Wright. Wright falls down, but he makes the pick at the Oregon 33-yard line to the end zone, trying to get there right now. The completion inside the 10 and down inside the 5. Runs right and runs into the end zone for the lead. Touchdown, Beavers. They can stop Oregon from getting the first down. They are going to get the ball back. There will be plenty of time on the clock for the Beavers to have a chance to go down the field and maybe win this game. Bradford into Oregon territory yeah, again across the middle. Another good delivery and another catch for it. Beavers first down. It's Bradford for this. Yeah, that last drive I thought he played really poised. Um, found the matchups, you know, the one on ones he liked, especially with Bradford. I mean, Cole Taylor had a huge catch over the middle of the field.
Even the ball's getting completed, you can watch Bradford and Colby, they get initially hit, but then they fall forward to gain first downs. Clock does stop, I mean, all that stuff shows up to us then having some time to be able to finish when we got first and goal. Flynn, we were talking about the competitive nature of this team and how tough and strong they are and that they're not a flash in the pan. Here it's Chance Nolan, can you imagine? You've got Chance Nolan taking his first snap as a Beaver on fourth and inches with the Beavers trailing 38-34, 36 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. They needed to execute it. He's practiced a bunch under the center, and so that wasn't a concern. Um, it really came down to the interior movement. It got, got, got done. Nolan will try to sneak in, and he pushes in. Amazing. Wow. His first play for the Beavers is a touchdown that puts Oregon State ahead with 33 seconds to go. Montemont, Eldridge, Levin Good, even Joshua Gray, Kipper, the movement. We won the line of scrimmage on that play when the game's on the line. Uh, when Chance brought it in, uh, I put my hand straight up, said it was a touchdown, started jumping up and down, going crazy. Like yeah. This is one of those things that goes down in the, the folklore of talking about rivalry games like this. Reasons you, you coach this game, to see guys grow, develop, have success. And this thing means a ton to them. And so the celebrations after scoring or getting the final stop, turnover, into the locker room. They're gonna scoop it up, go down, and Oregon State will pull off one of the more improbable wins that the Beavers have ever had in the 124 year history of this great rivalry. What a win for Jonathan Smith. It's already written, man. It was already written. We dreamed about this, made it happen. Dreams come to reality, baby.